Every one of us is expendable. The Expendables 3. So, The Expendables 3 is your typical Expendables movie, full of 80s nostalgia, fast-paced action, a little bit of humour along the way as well. This movie focuses on the remaining Expendables team members. They basically fail their opening mission and Sylvester Stallone is like, You're too old, kid. You're too old. You're too old. He says they're too old and he packs in the old team and he recruits a brand new team to go upon looking for the main villain in this movie. The main villain in this movie is Mel Gibson and he is a total badass. He completely kills it and you can see that he really enjoyed his role in this movie and you can see he really enjoyed wrecking havoc upon the Expendables team. Whether you love Mel Gibson or you hate Mel Gibson, he completely killed it in this movie and he was fantastic. He was definitely one of the best actors in this movie. Stallone vets a new younger team. He signs them up. He gets to know them a little bit. This younger new team has a different way of doing things. They're a lot stealthier than the Stallone team of the team that we've seen in the previous Expendables movies. They vet their targets. They use the computers. They hack software. They control CCTV. It's a little bit like Watch Dogs, to be honest. They even take the mick out of Stallone and they say his way of doing things is so 1980s. Eventually this team falls into trouble, the older members return and we have a really good fast paced end into this movie. Conclusion time and drum roll please. <laughs> Overall I give The Expendables 3 a rating of must see. The action was great, the story was great and I never got bored with this one. Have you seen The Expendables 3 or any of the other Expendable films? If you have, let me know what you thought of them in the comments below. I've been Dragonheart, reviewing Expendables 3. Until next time, goodbye.